Hey, hi there, you guys, Sagittarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Thank you guys, Sagittarius, for supporting my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and one card from the Spirit Cats deck. Here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Sagittarius, you've got the Page of Wands. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This can be a message, a communication. It can be helpful information or ideas. It's full of eagerness and passion. It's the beginning of something. All pages are trigger points. This can be a new project, a love affair, a new phase in someone's life. This can be a proclamation, an announcement, an invitation. They're beginners. This is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction. This is the fool's little brother. We always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we truly are. Pages can represent children. They can also represent an aspect of the personality just beginning to emerge. This can also symbolize an event, and it would be the beginning. It's new and underdeveloped, something you want to explore. It's being intrigued and hopeful and inspired, trustworthy, a beginner. It's doing things like sensing your potential for creative or spiritual expansion. Maybe you're embarking on self-development or even pursuing adventure. As with the aces to the tens, the elements reflect basic th energy of the pages differently through each suit. This is someone that may be daring and full of energy, and they can be helpful and loyal and sensitive. They've got no horse, so it's a little slower. You could be receiving some news or some kind of communication, and it will be at the right time. And it will be coming in when an important decision can be made. It's like messages, texts, phone calls, emails. This can represent someone sensitive and optimistic, and they have a strong and fiery temperament. This can be a new lover who's all fired up, and they might be making offers of sex. But they could be immature, impetuous. Maybe they've got no follow-through. Maybe they overpromise, and then that makes us doubt them. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Sagittarius. The Three of Swords, Air Energy. This is Saturn in Libra. This is a much better position to have this card. This is not a good card to have, representing heartbreak. But in this position... These energies are blocked, they're opposed, they're restricted, it's challenged. This can be someone protecting the heart. They could also be not letting go of pain. Or they could be forgiving. This is being on the path to recovery and being ready to move past the heartache. When you turn this card upside down, which is how you read this card in this position, then the swords, they slip out. It's not as bad as it could have been. And it's a reminder not to be afraid of saying I'm sorry. This is moving and changing in ways that we desire. There's a healing of difficulties. It's a lesser degree of confusion and loss and sorrow. This is someone that tries to push the pain away and not think about it. They have a desire to heal, and that pushing the pain away and not thinking about it 
may just prolong the problem. So remember to pay attention to the words that you say to yourself and the thoughts. It can be a negative self-talk to yourself, thinking you're not good enough. You will need to think before you speak. And the song that comes to mind is More Than Words by Extreme. It even applies for the reverse. The Page of Wands with the Three of Swords. This can be an apology. You guys, there's no majors and no aces in your readings. This is just an everyday passing experience, and it will pass quickly. This can Page of Swords with the Three of so I mean Page of Wands with the Three of Swords is foot and mouth. Maybe you said something or sent a hurtful communication or received one. This can be a fast message with misunderstandings. It can also be some kind of hurt and expressing apologies. It can also be a communication that's cut off or blocked. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Sagittarius. The Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You may have water in your chart. There is that free birth chart calculator link all the way on the bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out finding out what other signs are in your chart. The Knight of Cups. This is romance. It's a, the power to create. It can be travel. It represents the coming or going of a matter, action. This is a soul connection and heightened emotions. It's sincere emotion and following your heart. This is someone that's following their emotions. They're searching and yearning. It is a quest for truth. Nothing will deter this person from their search. They're a dreamer. This is a heartfelt journey. This is a strong passion for someone. There's a romance about to occur. It's dreaming without doing. That's the shadow. Or chasing rainbows. The Page of Wands with the Knight of Cups is a hopeful, emotional feelings that you want to convey or offer or move forward with. Here's your fourth card, the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Sagittarius, this is one of your cards. The Eight of Wands, Fire Energy. This is a Mercury in Sagittarius. Mercury representing communication. This is movement, action, a rapid communication. It's the end of delay, and positive things are going to unfold, and now I'm getting goosebumps on the right side. That is a masculine energy. It's full of surprises and opportunities, and it's up to you to choose. Some of these may be once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. This is a sudden burst of energy, and it does carry some risk. It's a quick turn of events. It's renewed activity, messages, and it's moving more rapidly towards a goal. It's a rapid and swift development with a conclusion. Even sudden insights, one after another. These are changes on many levels. It's an increased exchange of energy that makes things easier and some things even possible. Being in motion. Things already set in motion. It's staying in the flow. The need to be up and doing things, activities, new beginnings. And it's the end of a period of delay. It's being in love. These are Cupid's arrows and infatuation. This is a big crush. It can be relationship messages coming and about to go forward. It's making your move. It's a breakthrough. And you're going to be getting results in record time. So go for it, because you're poised to hit the target and continue on with your plans. More goosebumps on the right side. 
Page of Wands with the Eight of Wands is a communication that brings in a quick turn of events, adventure, travel, passion, and excitement. This is exciting for me, too, as I'm a Sagittarius moon. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Well, this is Sagittarius moon. The nine of wands, fire energy, moon and Sagittarius. This is something you're not sharing with others. You are consciously aware of this being defensive. This is strength in waiting and never giving up. There's strength and determination and perseverance. It's being solitary and suspicious, on guard. It's putting up barriers, blocking. And there's strength to overcome trouble when confronting difficulties. And now this is the end of a cycle. Nines represent culmination and completion, and a job is done. A level that is done. This is hanging in there and being in a very strong position. It's victory through courage and endurance. There's restraint and tension and refusing to buckle under pressure. It's feeling hurt and leery. This is the wounded warrior. You've been through it before. This is a test of faith with a battle that you're fighting. It's standing your ground. And through effort and determination, you defend and protect what's yours. This is recovery and being in a strong position. Maybe you're holding yourself back and looking over your shoulder and having your defenses up to protect yourself. Maybe you know what to expect. But remember, many times people will react differently and surprise us. So be wary of self-fulfilling prophecy if you expect the worst, then that's what you'll end up getting. Strength is needed to resolve an issue. You may be bracing for a challenge. The Page of Wands with the Nine of Wands is holding back your excitement and enthusiasm or holding on to it. So stay strong and resilient if you end up facing any setbacks or challenges because you're so close to the end. The Three of Swords with the Knight of Cups, this is tugging on heartstrings. It is a soul connection that cuts to the heart of the matter. There may be emotional manipulation involved. The Three of Swords with the Eight of Wands is a sudden realization that brings heartache. It's a short-term relationship. It can be isolation, but not for long. This is a communication break or becoming unblocked. The Three of Swords with the Nine of Wands is avoiding facts, being scared of the truth. It's healing a hurt by being defensive. Or maybe your heart is not in it. Or you could be defending your heart. So this heartbreak has made you guarded, and you're trying to avoid heartache. The Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands is emailing and texting a romantic proposal. The Eight of Wands could speed things up, the offerings. This is wondering if feelings are mutual, and if they are, this fires up passions that are normally controlled. Someone is swept, up, swept off their feet with passion. The Knight of Cups with the Nine of Wands is holding on to emotional potential. There could be philosophical issues. The Eight of Wands with the Nine of Wands is you will get what you seek, what you have invested your time and energy into. So stay strong and gather your strength for the struggle. Plan now and anticipate. Here's your Spirit Cat card. Night Magic. Meet Vespertine. No sleep for the wild side. She is a swirl of creativity and nighttime escapades. She is pure nocturnal playfulness and mystery. Going out at night is not only for the young. Night magic is for everyone. Explore the night. Go out dancing or walk under the stars. Gather with your friends and talk into the wee hours. Sing and play music under the moonlight. Stay up to watch a meteor shower or a lunar eclipse. See the sunrise while the world sleeps. Watch your perspective expand and shift. You have more energy than you believe. And there's that eight of wands in the future position. More energy than you believe. 
Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.